Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you an iCloud bypass tool that's untethered with fixes for Siri, iCloud, FaceTime, iMessage, and notifications. Please note that this is a beta version from Ramsey07, the iBypasser tool, so it's not yet perfect and may or may not work on some of the features, but hey, this is totally free and absolutely free. Donations are accepted by the creator of this tool, so follow him on Twitter and donate if you can. So without ado, let's begin. First thing is you'll need to jailbreak with Checkring. In the previous video, I've already shown that to you, but I'm going to replay that here. Watch this. So for the jailbreak, you can use Boot Rain if you are on Windows or Rain USB. And if you are using Mac, you can directly use and download Checkring. So here I'm showing to you that I'm opening Checkrain and then you can actually take the first box allow untested version if your um, device is not detected. And then you can go ahead and start, click next, it will enter recovery mode. When it's entering recovery mode, after that, you're going to enter and prepare for the DFU procedure. So now when you're in recovery, you can click the start button and then begin entering DFU process by clicking the side and the power, I mean the volume down by releasing the power and holding the volume for 10 seconds. And after that, it's going to do its thing and just allow it to finish. So there you go guys, once you're done jailbreaking, now we can begin using the bypasser tool version 2.0. Once you're done jailbreaking, now we can begin using the bypasser tool version 2.0. Let's go ahead and do that now and click on it. If it does not work the first time, you're going to have to do a fresh restore. I really suggest that you do a fresh restore in this one because the first time we try this, it did not work for me using an already bypass device. So go ahead and do a fresh restore via 3U tools while Apple is still signing iOS 13.7 and 13.8. Again, this is until Apple signs 13.7 and 13.8. Once you go up on iOS 14, we'll not, we're not yet sure and we're uncertain whether that is supported by these tools and whether Checkrain still supports it. Now it's 98% guys, so we should be done. And there we go for 100 percent and it says success so the next step after the bypass is to use this feature fix notification siri icloud facetime and imessage so let's go ahead and do that now and click on that there you go so let's just allow it to finish let me fast forward this one Now it's 98% guys, so we should be done. And there we go, for 100% and it says success. Notifications, Siri, iCloud, FaceTime, iMessage should now work and enjoy your device. So once you're done, it will take you to the donation page. Don't forget to donate to Ramsey if you have some extra spare cash there to donate for him for all his work. So his work guys, so that we can finally get the perfect version as this is still the beta version and some of these features may not actually work. So now let me show you what actually worked. So what worked for me is one, my iCloud. I am able to access my iCloud. As you can see here, I have my iCloud ID lo logged in. And also um, Siri seems to be working perfectly fine. As you can see here, I have here um, Siri open. Let me test it. Hi Siri. Hi Siri. Good morning. Hi there. How can I help? Do you know how to jailbreak an iPhone? Very funny Siri. Apparently. So there you go guys, you can see that Siri actually worked and here is my iCloud ID logged in and perfectly working. As you can see, I can see the full feature of iCloud services. I can see all the devices that I'm logged in and I'm also seeing um, the Find My Phone feature actually working fine and perfectly okay. 
There it is. Now FaceTime, let's test it. I haven't had any luck and it seems to be just stuck on this screen. Given that this is still the better version, so we can look forward and see more development on this. So hopefully this will be fixed. So donate. I've also tested the um, iMessage. So iMessage also doesn't seem to work. So again, this is the better phase. So let's support and donate the developers so that you can imp make improvements in this application. And don't forget to subscribe to my page, guys. So that's it, everybody. Hope that video helped and see you again in the next video.